Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Gatti Crypto here, and we're just jumping straight into this one. There's so much going on at the moment, and we, you know, with with everything, you know, with all the swimming into the current, the consistent, you know, downforce on us, we, you know, we're always here, we're always showing up, and we're always doing what we should be doing. We're building, and we're building in every sector. So, you know, when I see a validator, especially the top validator in our sector simply going after consideration we've decided to change our yes vote to an abstain to let the community decide themselves this is wrong on so many different levels it's unbelievable so if we just go over to the documentation okay and we type in for for example we just type in validator and what we're looking for ultimately right is just what what is the job? What what does a validator do? What is a validator? The Terra Core is powered by the Tendermint consensus. Validators run full nodes and participate in consensus by broadcasting votes, commit to new blocks to the blockchain, and participate in governance of the blockchain. Validators are able to cast votes on behalf of their delegators. A validator's voting power is weighted according to their total stake. Now, there are further explanations about, you know, how do I become a validator and what's expected of me as a validator? And I can honestly say to you, what's expected of you is to, to be consistently involved in the, the blockchain. You're supposed to actually participate in things. You're supposed to understand what's going on, understand who's building, who's not building, bad actors, good actors. If the weather's going to be rainy tomorrow in LUNC, us as validators should know it's our job. This is what we signed up for. And we're harvesting, you know, huge amounts of rewards. Not so much us, but you know, someone like All Notes is harvesting about $15,000 a month just, just from our blockchain, right? So them simply going, we're moving from a yes to an abstain is wrong for me on so many different levels because ultimately it's still contributes to this proposal and puts it into a position of passing if they had just not got involved right if they had simply just not wanted to get involved they didn't want to have anything and they wanted to let this one go down to those who are active in the community why have you voted why have you involved yourself to begin with well from what i believe is there's either payments are being made or people are heavily inside others pockets but my even deeper theory at the moment is that they've spun up so many nodes that they've got huge amounts of coverage. And it's like, like I said, right, if you've got a net and your net is one meter squared, what's going to catch more of, I don't know, falling leaves from a tree? A 10 meter squared net or the one meter squared net? Well, it's obvious, you know, you're going to get more if you've got more coverage. This here is the list of everyone who abstained and everybody who voted yes. Each one of these nodes has contributed now. If we go over to Lunk Dash and we, we just look at what's going to happen, right? And we look at the community pool. We've already had a lot go out. And we're going to have even more go out over the next couple of days. We are going to be left of around 9 million LUNC. This is absolutely incredibly insane. No L2 team is going to be happening anytime soon. No marketing team is going to happen anytime soon. The likelihood of getting a mobile station extension and all of those different things, the machinery, the equipment and everything to become a self, a self decentralized, independently run DeFi blockchain. That's not happening. It's not happening because we just don't have the funding and we're not going to have the funding. And people like all nodes, right? They've got so much voting power that it's ridiculous. And, you know, as much as all of these, what annoys me the most is the the behavior that we see from kind of like these big notes. Well, you know, it's not our problem. And it, it was kind of a thing when they raised the running cost of nodes, the amount of, you know, small validators we lost. It, it, it's terrible. Our blockchain is currently run by a group of validators that do nothing, contribute nothing and bring nothing. To see people like DF Lunk app, you know, very new into our sector supposedly and simply just going, yeah, you know, cool. Does, you know, it's no skin off of our nose, is it guys? Yeah, oh, what? You know, we're already earning loads of money from our from our protocol. Why, why do we care? Yep, yeah, no problems. 
where this comes down to is people like myself who actually understand how much money is going to be going into the next few months and everything now once again is like we can't do anything we're now in a position and this is what terror rebels waited for they waited for a position when it would be a situation where they can go well you know your mobile station's not working you know you have to use ours and i've explained this time and time and time again they're opportunists and they wait for the most perfect opportunities to put things forward i'm very very upset to see you know there's no you never hear from any of these notes as to you know oh well we voted yes because this that and the other and you know not going into the community pool especially someone like jesus is lord jesus is lord which is clearly linked out you know they just don't care and what it what it's all coming down to is we are the enemy of Luna, and the majority of these people are more interested in building over Luna or their, you know, there's so many people who have split personalities who have multiple accounts. It's so obvious to someone like me who's been around from the beginning and understands the way people punctuate themselves, you know, those small uses of grammar, the behavior, the whole, it's, it's one of those things. I've been around long enough to know these things. I was part of terror rebels at the very beginning i was the first person to walk away and i've called this stuff out so many times before leading up to this and now we're at a time where change does actually need to happen but ultimately how can we expect any change to happen when we've got centralized voting power with people like all notes you know all of these huge validators for chain and all these different people that have simply just got mass amounts of voting power and there's nothing we can do to fight against this right now there's nothing all we can do is inform people as to what's actually going on and what the actual plan is from what i know and from simply just going and messaging people and speaking to people i know that there's in development right now a decentralized method to decentralize this wallet situation so it's split out across the active set and it's the same with the endpoints the RCD and everything like that can be decentralized across the active set. But what people need to understand is, is there's no money in that for anybody. You're simply just building something and giving it to the blockchain, right? There's no money in that. Whereas doing something what Rebel Station has done by privatizing our most important tool, you know, it's a huge amount of money they're taking. The worst part is, right, is... Would you trust an ATM if someone come up to you and said, yeah, you know, I used that ATM last week and then all of a sudden someone's ordering pizzas on my card. You know, the machine obviously had some sort of, you know, cloning system in it, right? None of us have seen a certic audit for Rebel Station. A good example is you can use a thing called a vampire tap and you can more or less embed something like this deep into the system and, and actually get it to clone people's monomics as it goes through. There's so many things in my head and, you know, people who are just simply willy nilly putting their monomics into this rebel station, you're absolutely insane. You literally may as well be going and using an unverified ATM machine. You don't know if the cash in there is real. You don't know if anything is genuine, if the companies that you don't know a thing, you're just going off the whole, trust me, bro. I think this is a really important time for people, especially us here in HCC community, to band together, huddle together and stand strong and stand by what we believe in and, and how we perceive the future of this blockchain. Because ultimately, if we just allow for every sector to be privatized, what's going to happen? Well, nothing. Nothing will ever happen. And we'll continue to see the sapping of the blockchain in a very slow and steady manner, as to which it's very subtle. And people just don't understand what's going on until it's too late. There's nothing left in the community pool. It's not restocking. Validators are leaving. And there's only rewards to get out of the uh, Oracle rewards pool. And guess what? As the price gets crunched, more and more validators are simply just going to shut their doors, pack up and leave because they don't care. This is all from where I'm sitting. This is all about shutting Lunk down from the inside out. They've tried doing it from the outside before. That's clearly not working. What needs to happen now is this Im embedding of players, embedding of bad actors and playing the Houdini card like they did with Terraport, right? Everything now comes down to bite to crunch from where I'm sitting. And that's my humble opinion. I'm entitled to that because ultimately there's only room for either Luna 
or Luna Classic. And as much as people want to sit there and go, oh, we should work together. Let's all be friends and, you know, dance around with flowers and, you know, that kind of thing. That's not happening. Crypto's not like that. It's a dog eat dog world. And at the end of it, they want to see us fail. That much is obvious. There's screenshots floating about. Go and do some research, folks. Have a really nice Monday wherever you are. Beware of scammers. Beware of doppelgangers. Beware of anybody pretending to be me. None of this is financial advice. Do take note of who is voting what to what and everything that's going on. It's so important that you start to back a validator that is actually trying to create change and not sapping the blockchain in the process of doing it. Each one of my projects has been built off of my own back. I've never asked for a payout. I've never asked for a handout. That's how you build things. That's how you bring things forward to the blockchain and the community. And we'll all prosper in the future. Instead, it's not. It's this selfless, selfish kind of self-motivated movement of well, what can we make from it? How can we best utilize and put a funnel around this revenue. Have a really nice day. Catch you in the next one. Shoo!